Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Crazy KJ85, right here, back at you, in your ear, in your face, in your device, with another coming to Jesus being. Y'all, it's been a few weeks since I've been able to do one. I've been out of town working, so I wasn't able to commit to it, but it's long overdue for coming to Jesus meeting. I think I picked a pretty good little topic. It's highly debatable with a lot of information. And we're going to try to sum it up and keep it short and sweet. But I actually had to get some notes on this one. That's how much information there is. And that's, you know, nowhere near half. Okay. So with that being said, get comfy. This is the Coming to Jesus meeting episode number three. It's about to get real, y'all. So first and foremost, I just want to bring to everybody's attention, I'm sure everybody's aware of the anti-tobacco campaign known as Truth. You've seen their commercials on TV, you've seen their ads. Truth is a uh, anti-tobacco campaign projected to teenagers to um, deviate them from smoking cigarettes. Now, key word in this vlog is gonna be cigarettes and tobacco. I'm actually talking about actual cigarettes and tobacco, okay? So, Truth was started to convince teenagers to stop smoking cigarettes. Now, in 1998 and 1999, when the campaign first began, the rate of teenagers smoking cigarettes in the United States was 23%. 18 years later, in 2016, that number dropped down to 6%. So the campaign is working. A 17% drop. I mean, I guess that's good. I mean, we're on the right path, I guess. And I fully support it. I'm 100% behind it. I mean, shouldn't be smoking cigarettes at all. But some of their ads, some of their commercials are just so bogus. It just... It blows my mind how silly some of these ads are. And people buy into it. People buy into their crap. And I'm not saying... I'm not saying we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get that towards the end of the vlog. But first, let's talk about nicotine. What is nicotine? So nicotine is an alkaloid and is very similar to caffeine, all right? Uh, it's found in tobacco, we know that. It's also found in a lot of the foods we eat, such as tomatoes, and eggplant, cauliflower. Uh, if you drink tea, there's nicotine in tea. It's a stimulant, okay? It is, bottom line is what it is, it's a stimulant. And that's what makes smoking cigarettes so addictive. How much nicotine is actually in a cigarette? Well. In one cigarette, you got about 10 milligrams of nicotine, all right? Now, how much does your body actually consume from that one cigarette? Maybe one milligram. Most of it gets burned off. Some of it gets stuck in the filter, all right? So that's kind of a little tidbit of information on how much nicotine you're actually consuming per cigarette, all right? Now, they're, they're saying that nicotine is bad for you. But they're saying that because nicotine is in tobacco. Tobacco is bad for you, therefore nicotine is bad for you. And that's not the case. It's honestly really not the case. The truth about it is that it's the formaldehyde and the tar and the carcinogens that's added to tobacco that's causing lung cancer and killing people. It's not the nicotine. The nicotine is just a stimulant that's making smoking addictive. And it's not added to tobacco. That's naturally occurring. That's naturally in there. Now, they have the chemical compound of nicotine, and they can manufacture nicotine to, you know, add into the juices for your uh, e-cigs and, and vapes. But that's not what's bad for you, okay? 
And we're going to get into vapes a little bit. We're going to briefly discuss that here in a little bit. Now, another alternative for uh, getting nicotine or, or smoking, I guess you could say, you have the nicotine patches, the nicotine gum. You don't ever hear any stories of this being any cancer, causing cancer or killing people. You know why? Because they don't. There's no carcinogens added to these to this gum or this patch that kills people. It's just straight nicotine. Now, you know, People, people will argue, but the fact is that you shouldn't smoke cigarettes. Bad for you. Okay, we know this. But nicotine is not a drug. Nicotine is not bad for you. It's really not. Yo. Now, let's get into the rather new smoking alternative of uh, electronic cigarettes and vaping. In my opinion, probably one of the worst things you're going to come across with is possibly getting popcorn loan. Now, popcorn loan is a rare illness, and it's a lot like bronchitis or pneumonia. It's treatable, but it's uh, also known as bronchiolitis obliterate. Okay? So, basically, with popcorn loan, has come from and where it gets its name from is the flavor additive that's added to microwavable popcorn that gives it the butter flavor is called dicetyl. And I think I'm pronouncing that right, but dicetyl is the flavor additive that gives that microwavable popcorn the buttery flavor. And what was happening was in these many in these factories, the workers were catching this uh, bron bronchitis-like illness, and they found it to be from that additive. Now, what's that got to do with vaping? Is that some of your uh, juices will have dicetyl in it? Your vanillas, your vanilla flavors, your cream flavors, your caramel flavors, your coconut flavors. Those four, I know for sure, have um, been reported to have dicetyl in it. Now, I stay away from those flavors because of that, um, but also some of your flavors, like your fruits and your berries, and you, you just crazy other different flavors that they have, those have chemicals in them as well to give it that flavor. So I wouldn't be 100% too trusting on that, that they wouldn't be bad for you. I stick to a more organic flavor. I use uh, cinnamon and I use mint, it's a natural spice flavor. I haven't had any issues. I've been vaping for almost three years now, okay? Now, as far as for cost-wise, so much cheaper. It's significantly cheaper. Now, it's going to range. You know, your cigarettes cost, on, a, on an average, annually, on one pack a day, you're looking at anywhere from $2,087 to $5,091. Now, that different variations, different costs of cigarettes across different states. Now, as far as for vaping, significantly cheaper and again same thing is the big variation because there's different prices and different types and stuff so your prices are going to differ or differentiate but annual cost of vaping on average is anywhere from 387 dollars to 500 to 5082 dollars so it's significantly cheaper so not only is it cheaper than cigarettes it's healthier so why aren't you vaping i'm not saying you know telling you you need to go vape but you don't need to be smoking cigarettes Okay, I saw a video, and I'll post it in the description below. This YouTuber had made a contraption with a pump and a tube into a glass jar filled with cotton balls, and he stick a cigarette to where it would pump air through the cigarette like you would be smoking, and the cotton balls acts as your lung, and it pumps it draws air through it. Well, after I forgot how many cigarettes it was, the cotton was just black and brown and full of tar from these cigarettes. Okay? And that just proves how unhealthy cigarettes are for you. Okay? 
And then they the same contraption with a vape device. And there was very minimum discoloration. Very minimum discoloration. It was like night and day black and white. And just proved to be so much healthier for you guys. So vaping or, or using an e-cig is so much, just such a great alternative. Now, getting to the truth about the truth, all right? Truth Campaign, again, was started to um, stop teenagers from smoking tobacco and smoking cigarettes. And it's, it's great. You know, that's, that's, I support that 100%. But their ads are so bogus, so bogus. Recently, I just saw an ad for, truth, for the Truth Campaign. <clears throat> and what it was, it was a group of friends, it was some puppets, right? And one of the little puppets was saying that, you know, he stopped smoking cigarettes and he's vaping now. In fact, he was using one of the little jewels. It looks like a little USB drive. And he was vaping on that. But every time he would try to explain to the other, for his friends, his, the other puppets, Every time he would try to explain how healthy it is and how much better than cigarettes it is, they would blow a horn and mute him out. They didn't want the truth to be known about vaping, basically. And why is that? Well, let's talk about that. Tobacco companies is a big, multi-billion dollar business. All right, It generates multiple billions, if not in the trillions of dollars, annually a year. Okay? So why don't the anti-tobacco campaign wants you to know the truth about vaping. Well, let's talk about that. So now that people are vaping, tobacco sales are obviously going down. Not selling any tobacco, so sales are down, right? So where does the truth campaign get their funds from? Ah, we're not funded by big tobacco, they say. And this is straight from their website. We get our funding from Truth Initiative, which is a national public organization created in 1999 as a result of the Master Settlement Agreement. So the Truth Campaign is funded by Truth Initiative, which is the company itself. And it goes on to say the Master Settlement Agreement is the result of 46 states, District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., and five U.S. territories getting together and suing the major tobacco companies to try to recover some of the billions of dollars that was spent for caring for six smokers. The tobacco companies settled out of court, signed an agreement to pay the states a certain amount of money, sort of like a tax, basically refunding some of what they would have spent. And the states then used small amounts of that money All sorts of things, such as roads and truth, truth Initiative. Now, Truth Initiative is the company that the Truth Anti-Tobacco Campaign goes under, right? So the states are paying Truth Initiative with the money they got from the tobacco companies? Wait, hold up. Didn't they just say that they don't get money from the tobacco companies? We are not funded by Big Tobacco. But wait. You get from Truth Initiative, which gets it from the states, which get so basically the these states that are getting like this tax from the tobacco company is just like a middleman to fund this campaign. Now, in the commercial, why didn't they want the truth of vaping to be let out? Because they lose funding, they lose money. Okay, they're not worried about your health anymore. They may think you may think they are, and by all means, the campaign is working. But it's money. That's all they worry about is they're funny. They're not getting any money. So they don't want you to know the truth about vaping because then guess what? Tobacco sales are going to really go down. But that's what they're trying to do. It makes no sense. It's the biggest hypocrisy that I could freaking fathom. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Now, again, smoking cigarettes, unhealthy for you. It's bad for you. 
you should not smoke cigarettes at all. I mean, it, it kills people daily. Daily kills people. Lung cancer. All these chemicals that's added to the tobacco just is atrocious. It's not the nicotine. I'm telling you that right now. They say that nicotine is a drug. It's not. It's really not, y'all. I just can't fathom that. You're going to sit there and say that you don't get money from the tobacco company, but then the tobacco company is. It made my blood boil, yeah, bro. It made my blood boil. I will say this. If, if you are a smoker, please consider vaping or switching to an electronic cigarette. But do your homework. Okay, do your research, go to a vape shop, look around. It is a little bit pricey to get started, but in the long run, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than cigarettes. Now, the, the figures that I gave you a little while ago, that was just one pack a day. You figure two packs a day, those numbers double, okay? So, it's a no-brainer, y'all. It really is a no-brainer, and a lot of people... We'll say this and say that about how vaping is not healthy for you and it's bad for you and all this and that. I'm not saying that vaping is 100% healthy, but compared to smoking cigarettes, I mean, come on, man. It's 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 a no-brainer. It's common sense, man. It's vaping is so much better for you, healthier for you, cheaper. It's just all around. Just You should smoke cigarettes, point blank. Now, I'm not saying go out and start vaping. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I just can't get my mind around that freaking. I still that commercial still playing in my head. That little kid was, that little boy was, oh, I was smoking cigarettes and now I'm vaping and blah, blah, blah. And he tried to talk about vaping and how good. They they didn't want they didn't want the truth to get out. But that's the truth about truth. Truth is funded by tobacco companies, so they don't want you to know about vaping because guess what? Tobacco sales really go down. But they don't want you smoking cigarettes. That's the whole point of the campaign. And that's what's been happening. It's, it's freaking it's stupid. It's stupid. Makes no freaking sense at all to me. It really doesn't. I just... Let me stop. I mean, it, it's gonna... I'm about to break something. But... That's gonna be it, guys. I, I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up. I, I promise y'all I would try to keep this short and simple and I think I have. <sighs> I'm going to let y'all do your own research and, and read up on everything. I'm going to leave everything that I've researched in the description below. Y'all can check it out for yourselves. On a side note, guys, we need to get these numbers up on subscribers and, and views, y'all. Share this video. Subscribe to this video. If you Put a thumbs up if you liked it. Share with your friends, put it on your social media, let the world know about our coming to Jesus meetings, y'all. We need to get these numbers up. This rookie numbers. Alright? Y'all have a good one though. We're gonna see y'all in the next one, huh?